Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be talking about how does ELDT actually affect getting your CDL permit. So if getting a CDL license is something that you are super interested in doing, you're pretty much going to have to know what the steps are like. You can pretty much break it down into two main categories. Step number one, you're first going to have to pass a few different written exams to get yourself a CDL permit. Step number two, you're going to have to pass a two and a half hour long road test to get your actual license. So back in February 7th of 2022, there's a lot of big things that did change. There was a new law that went into place. It had to do with the entry level driver training program or for short ELDT. And I'm sure you've heard a whole bunch of this uh, around and people are still confused about what it actually means, what it's actually going to be doing, but there are a few things that did change. Now in this video, we're going to be discussing what actually changed when it came to actually getting your CDL permit. So the main big change when it came to ELDT is that in order to go for a CDL road test, you have to be certified by a training provider or a driving school, just like we are here. So that means you can't just go out on your own anymore. You can't get trained by your brother or by your uncle or anything like that, or even by your company if they're not an approved training provider. The other cool thing is that it actually kind of uh, makes sure that everyone goes through the same information, so it makes the streets safer in the long run. But when it actually comes to getting your permit, there are situations that you have to be fully aware of with, should you sign up for a school before you get your permit? Should you sign up for a school after you get your permit? Do you have to go to school in order to get your permit? These are all questions that we're gonna answer in this video. Just make sure you wait till the very end. So let's just get right into it. When it comes to getting your permit, the first thing you have to decide is, are you gonna go for the CDO class A, which means you get to drive the big truck, the trailers, or you're gonna go for the CDO class B, which means you get to drive the small trucks and potential buses. If you're gonna go for the CDO class A, that means you have to pass a minimum of three tests. You're gonna have your general knowledge, air brakes, and combination vehicle. These three tests there, you do not need to go to a school, you do not need to be an approved uh, ELDT um, uh, uh, participant in order to actually go and get this permit on your own. So you can actually make the appointment on your own, go and take the test on your own and get going. If you do need help with that, you can actually sign up with us at, as a student here or we, you can just sign up as a uh, online student, which means that you can either do the training here at our training facility for us to get you ready to pass the written test or you can just do it on your own at your own time on your phone, laptop, computer, iPad, the whole works. And if you go through our course, it actually has a 95% success rate. So if speed is something that's important for you, you want to make sure that you can pass those tests super, super fast on the first try, because if you don't, there is a backlog at DMV, which means everything's going to get pushed back and further and further along when it comes to scheduling the actual written test itself. So our recommendation is go to a school, but legally, do you have to? No. However, when it comes to actually getting certain endorsements on your permit, so endorsements would be hazmat, tankers, doubles and triples, um, school bus endorsement or passenger endorsement, some of these endorsements you are gonna have to go to a school before you can actually put that on your permit itself. So let's talk about it. The endorsements that you actually have to go to school for is gonna be hazmat, passenger, and school bus. If you're gonna go for any of those three endorsements, you're gonna to have to go to a school first, get certified by that school before you can actually legally be able to go and take the test at the local DMV there. So that's pretty much what you have to understand about ELDT and permit training itself. If you want to just sign up with a guaranteed training course where we can walk you from start to finish, you're saying, hey, I really don't know what all this is about. I really don't wanna do it on my own. I need somebody to kind of walk me through it and make sure that I am successful at it. We're probably the only school around that can guarantee that you walk away with your CDL. And how that works is we're gonna give you over 100 hours of training, both classroom training for the written exam, hands-on yard and road training for the road test, and unlimited tries at the test. And that's how we can guarantee that you walk away with your CDL license. All you need is $500 down to get started, and then we can work out a payment plan for the rest. So if you're interested in learning more, give us a call 908-525-3609, or check out a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.